Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Growth Philosophy Podcast, a bite-sized weekly podcast which aims to help you think better and upgrade your life. And I'm your host, Sadiq. In today's episode, I want to talk about something that's become the topic around the world. It's sweeping the whole world. And I'm pretty sure you sort of know what I'm talking about. Yes, I'm talking about coronavirus. As soon as you open the news or switch on to a website, you will see something or the other about coronavirus. Governments worldwide are taking steps to contain the disease, which includes severely restricting movement. And I understand the aspects of it and why that might be necessary. But it is important to understand that there is a good way and a bad way to react and deal with it. So what is a good way to deal with this outbreak of coronavirus? Okay, first and foremost, understand that I'm not in any way, shape or form, belittling the impact of this disease. This is something very, very serious. That said, it's important to understand that there is a lot of fear-mongering going around. People panic during times of stress. It's normal. But... Giving in to the panic doesn't help you. So that's what I meant when I said that there is a good way of dealing with a situation like this. It is a serious situation and there is a good way of dealing with it. So what is the good way of dealing with it? Now here are my suggestions. One, find out what the facts are. Like I said, there is a lot of fear-mongering going around. Lots of myths and fake news. So, don't just accept everything you hear. Find out what the source of the information is. Is it actually verifiable? Is it a fact-based information? Is the information that you see or you're getting coming from a reputable good source. So I was actually looking at this website by the World Health Organization today. They actually have a portal to give you up-to-date information on what's going on with coronavirus. So now that, for me, is a reputable, verifiable source of information. So I will get my information from there rather than accept whatever one of the other popular mediums say. So distinguish between a good source of information and a bad source of information. Don't just accept or be influenced by everything you see on Facebook or Twitter. So that is the first and possibly one of the most important things to do when dealing with coronavirus. Distinguish between good and bad sources of information. Understand what the facts are. The second step that I have in mind in terms of dealing with coronavirus would be to take precautions. Like I said, it's a serious thing. So what do you do to limit your chances of getting it? Basically take precautions. That's really the best thing you can do. So you can wear a mask if you want to. I personally don't feel the need to yet so I'm not wearing it but if you want to be on the safe side sure go wear one and if you're getting a mask get a good quality one because otherwise there is just no point perhaps go out and well when you go out take a hand sanitizer with you because viruses spread through touch 
So if you're going to a public place, taking a train or a bus, it's very likely that there will be germs on the handrails and stuff like that. So taking a hand, well, hand sanitizer with you and sanitizing your hand is a good idea. And washing your hands and stuff like that. But again, like this is not a health commentary podcast. I'm not a medical professional. Go look up what the doctors say about taking precautions. Like... Like I mentioned, WHO, they actually have a sub-portal stating a list of things that you can do to take precautions. Have a read of that. So take precautions, you know. And the last thing is to stay calm. Problems like this happen quite often like it was not that long ago that we had the SARS outbreak and then there was the Mars thing pandemics and epidemics have happened throughout human history you know there was the black plague which was huge so the coronavirus thing that we have now has not reached that scale and hopefully it won't No matter how big this thing gets, it will not help you if you start panicking. In fact, panicking is the worst thing you can do, both for yourself and for the people that you care about and love. So the last thing you should do is panic. As I mentioned before, it's important for you to understand the facts and differentiate the fiction, the fake news, the fear-mongering, and the facts. Don't get swept up by what's being said in popular media, unless you can verify the sources, and unless you can establish that it actually has a direct impact on you. At the end of the day, you panicking will not help you in any way, shape or form. So why panic? A key aspect of having a growth mindset is to understand that you need to do things that actually help you move forward. And will that actually help you, full stop? Panicking does not help you. Whereas understanding the facts, taking precautions, and then taking steps based on the information that you have, that's what helps you. So go do those things. You know, find out what the facts are. Don't just accept anything that you hear. Take precautions. Do what you need to do to keep yourself and others safe. I mean, and that definitely includes the people that you care about, the people around you. And whatever you do, do not lose your nerve. Stay calm. Panicking will not help you. So understand that problems and emergency situations like this will happen and the best way of dealing with it is to stay calm. When you're calm, you actually can figure out the best way of dealing with a problem. Whereas panicking will prevent you from figuring out the best way of dealing with a problem. So think things through calmly and then take the steps that you need to take. At the end of the day, the best you can do is the best you can do. But in order for you to do the best you can and take the steps that you can or need to take, you need to calmly think things through. So don't just 
follow the herd and jump off a cliff. Think things through. Figure out what your next steps are. And as it stands, the coronavirus is still a manageable problem. Governments around the world are taking steps to ensure the safety of people. So we are still pretty safe. Just be smart and take precautions. Other than, but that's basically what I'm doing. You know, I don't see any point in panicking. I will check the reliable information sources to understand where we stand and what the actual facts are. I don't just accept whatever I read in popular media. I will actually go and verify what the facts are. Right? So go and verify the information that you get through multiple sources just to make sure that the information is indeed accurate. And then just stay safe by taking the precautions that you can or need to take. So that really covers the, well, what I have to say about dealing with coronavirus and the way I believe is the best way to deal with this current problem. So that's really it for today. I hope you have a great week. Just stay safe and stay calm. And I'll see you again next Monday. Thank you for listening.